Yunnan, a land of contrasts. From its frozen mountains in the north to the tropical monsoon forests of the south. Connected by some of China's great rivers. This southwestern province is also home to the greatest number of animal species in China, where the Yunnan people and the animals have lived in harmony for millennia. To survive in the country's most diverse province, every animal must carve out a niche for itself. From the newest patriarch in a group of one of the world's rarest and highest living monkeys, to an orphan of the country's only remaining population of wild elephants. With all of this diversity, Yunnan is China's wildlife kingdom. Raising successful offspring is every animal's ultimate goal. But before they can care for young, they must win over a mate. Yunnan is home to a very strange bird with one of the most bizarre mating rituals in the world. This colorful critter is right at home here, as Yunnan has the greatest number of bird species in China, from fish eaters to nectar lovers. Birds have managed to fill every niche this region has to offer. But this mysterious bird prefers walking to flying, so it loves the cover of the forest floor. This is no ordinary pheasant. It's a male Temminx tragopan, and he's not alone. A female Temminx tragopan, just what he's been waiting for. He'll need to pull out all the stops to win over his hopeful mate. His plan of attack is the peekaboo game. As the excitement builds, his fleshy horns stiffen. and he inflates his secret weapon, a flamboyant blue and red neck wattle. This vibrant skin reflects more light than feathers and acts as a billboard advertising his suitability. With a final feather flick, the suitor makes his move. But it seems he may have work to do on his routine. South of the Trocopan's temperate home, the forest transforms into a tropical paradise. These rainforests are home to one of nature's most dazzling birds that has captured people's imagination for centuries. Peacocks. They are well known for their colorful, elegant feathers. Used to mesmerize potential mates. This dramatic courtship dance holds special meaning to the people of this region. Peacocks are a symbol of joy and hope for the local Dai people and have inspired one of their most celebrated dances. According to legend, over a thousand years ago, the leader of the Dai, Jaumeli Jeshu, learned how to dance by imitating the courtship behavior of these exuberant birds. Today, this performance is a centerpiece of all Dai festivals. But these celebrations aren't limited to dancing. As Buddhists, the Dai have a reverential love of water. 
which culminates in massive splashing fights, celebrating the waterways that bring life to their forest home. Water dominates southern Yunnan culture due to the countless rivers and streams that thread their way through here. The shallower, faster flowing waterways are rich in oxygen. The ideal conditions for a creature with a weird way of breathing. The world's largest amphibian, the Chinese giant salamander. They have remained pretty much unchanged since the days of the dinosaurs and can grow to nearly two meters long and weigh almost 50 kilograms. Although these salamanders have lungs, quite bizarrely, they primarily breathe through their skin. A large flap of skin helps oxygen uptake, while special nodes help it detect movement in the water, vital for capturing prey. The water that gives life to this bizarre giant starts its journey far to the north, near the towering peaks of the Hendwans. The frigid temperatures here create perpetual snow caps and a constant source of water that helps quench 1.6 million square kilometers of Asia. Despite the harsh conditions and gradual loss of habitat in these mountains, this group of Yunnan snub-nosed monkeys is growing. Sometimes you and his team must learn new faces. Occasionally, monkeys will migrate to a new supergroup. The one-armed male, Duan Shao, was this group's newest arrival. Yunnan snub-nosed monkeys are a relatively peaceful species, so acceptance of new members is generally tolerated. But this unspoken peace has its limits. If opposing families get too close for comfort, adult males won't hesitate to show off their strength. Maintaining dominance requires constant attention and unmatched physical strength. In snub-nosed monkey society, practice starts early in life. Without adult supervision, Duan Shao's baby, Lu Zi, is vulnerable. It may seem harsh, but play fighting like this will prepare Lu Zi for a life as the dominant male in the unforgiving Hendwan Mountains. In southern Yunnan, conditions are less harsh, but the forests here do experience disturbances. This forest is under attack. Broken and trampled vegetation mark a path of destruction. But could there be a silver lining to this devastation? forests of southern Yunnan, a herd of Asian elephants is on the move. 
To satisfy their hunger, herds cover 50 square kilometers for up to 18 hours a day, constantly feeding. Bamboos and grasses are their favorite foods, but elephants aren't careful eaters. Saplings and leaves of over a hundred species of plants help sustain their huge daily 136 kilogram appetite. Strangely, these elephants' careless, destructive eating habits can prove beneficial to the health of their home range. As the herd moves in search of food, it opens up clearings, allowing sunlight to penetrate the forest floor. This allows a greater variety of plant life to thrive here, increasing the biodiversity of their home. These forest clearings attract the attention of another massive mammal, the Asiatic bear. It is smaller than the common brown bear and has a very distinctive V-shaped check mark on its chest. It can be found in all sorts of habitats. But in warm forests such as these, they don't need to hibernate. These bears have a wide diet, ranging from plants to berries and even carrion. But this bear's nose is leading to a sweeter meal. He probes the source of the smell with his nearly 30 centimetre long tongue. It's honey, a discovery that warrants further investigation. Asiatic bears are well adapted to life in the trees, with extremely powerful upper bodies for climbing and hooked claws for grasping onto trunks and branches. But it seems this bear is out of luck. The hive has abandoned this tree. He'll have to keep searching. Fortunately, the excess light in this clearing has fueled the growth of tasty new plants that are much easier to reach. Extra light isn't all the forest needs to survive, though. Many of the plants here rely on animals for fertilization. As the sun sets, one of the forest's most important pollinators is only just starting its day. The slow loris's diet consists primarily of sap. As these primates sniff around trees and leaves, searching for gooey goodness, they unwittingly foster the next generation of these plants. Their vegetarian preference won't keep them from indulging in a protein-packed snack, though. Crickets. The slow loris spies a target. Without the ability to jump, he must stalk his prey through the canopy to get close enough to pounce. It is a game of cat and mouse, undertaken at a snail's pace. His breakfast is just in reach. Now, the trick is knowing when to strike. His timing is spot on. And the cricket buffet is open all night. The new dawn beckons this midnight hunter to bed, but not before one last snack. Other prey isn't as hard to catch. Fortunately for Yunnan snub-nosed monkeys, lichen can't run away. But competition for food between rival families is high. 
despite the efforts of the rangers to feed them in fallow times. But senior ranger Yuzinhua's dedication to his extended family has not faltered. <laughs> but even Yu's best efforts can't protect the monkeys from each other. Yunnan snub nosed monkeys have one of the largest home ranges of any primate, as much as 50 square kilometers. Despite all of this space, tensions between families can grow, especially while feeding. As a low-ranking male, Duan Shao's family is more vulnerable to intrusion by rival monkeys. He must be on constant alert to maintain his status and access to food. On the fringes of Duan Shao's feeding area are unwanted guests. A higher ranking male with multiple females. These monkeys are going to provoke a reaction. Fights between adult males could lead to death. But doing nothing puts Duan Shao's rank at risk. And if he loses, his baby Luzi could be killed by the opposing male. The one-armed male goes on the offensive. And it pays off. Duan Shao has secured his rank and his family's access to lichen for now, bringing Lu Zi one step closer to adulthood. To the south, a very different primate has a much smaller home range confined to tiny pockets of high-elevation rainforest. In the forests of Wuliangshan, scientist Ning Wanhe is studying a rare and elusive gibbon. In order to gain a better understanding of these mysterious primates, Dr. Ning must record every minute detail of their behavior and habitat. But finding his study subjects is no easy feat. Fortunately, Dr. Ning has a backup plan. And today, the crossroad delivers. The dawn here is ushered in by haunting cries. The harmonizers are black-crested gibbons. 
These gibbons are now a very rare and endangered species in China. Growing to roughly 50 centimeters tall, the sexes vary only in color. Males are almost entirely black, and females are a golden color with a black streak on the head. Families have a very limited home range, living in small areas of the canopy where they can access their preferred food, figs. But with the fruiting season behind them, it's slim pickings. Gibbons swing through the canopy in their search for food, reaching speeds of up to 54 kilometers per hour. This female isn't just foraging for herself. Her baby is still reliant on her milk. Clinging to her allows the youngster to continuously feed while mum searches for food. But this doesn't stop it from having a playful romp through the trees. Hidden beneath the canopy, the elephant herd moves at a much slower pace. The abundance of food here means less competition for resources and more time for socializing. Water holes aren't just for bathing and drinking. Blowing bubbles helps clean the elephant's trunk. But it's also a fun game of sorts. Play like this helps young elephants hone their motor skills and develop more adult behavior. At the Asian Elephant Breeding and Rescue Center, Young News play is more unorthodox. Young Niu has come a long way from that day she was found in the farmer's shed. And thanks to the efforts of Chen and the other elephant dads, her future is assured. Her strong bond with her human family may prevent Young New from being released to the wild. But with luck, someday her offspring will return to the forest to strengthen the wild elephant population in Yunnan. The province of Yunnan is the most diverse region in China. A place where a huge variety of animals have found a niche in contrasting forests, from the temperate to the tropical. It is truly a wildlife kingdom. <laughs>